Hey guys, we're back from The Flash. We're on Season 1, Episode 9. It's called The Man in the Yellow Suit. So you guys have been talking about this forever. Like, for the past couple weeks, you guys have been talking about how good uh, Episode 9 uh, for The Flash is. I'm really I'm really excited to see this episode, to see what you guys are, you know, talking about, because obviously I have no idea. I'm just wondering who is in that yellow suit. That's all I'm wondering at this point, because I really want to know. I mean, I was assuming Dr. Wells in the beginning, but of course, I'm not 100% sure. I mean, because obviously Dr. Wells is up to something. I know Dr. Wells probably has good intentions, but some of the things he does is kind of fishy a little bit. Kind of. And it doesn't look that good. But we got to keep watching the episodes that maybe, you know, of course, understand Dr. Wells. Anyway, guys, enough talking. Let's just get into this next episode. I just can't wait to see it. Let it snow, let it snow. Whoa. Whoa! What's happening? <laughs> Come on, couldn't wait any longer. Here. Oh, wait, me first. <laughs> oh, look at him. My mother's wedding band? A replica, yeah. I mean, you were devastated when you lost the real one. Fifth grade field trip to the, to the zoo. zoo. Okay, there you go, Barry. Look at him. You remembered. Yeah. <laughs> of course he did. Hey, babe. Hey, Barry. Nice ring. Beautiful, isn't it? It's an exact replica of my mom's. Barry got it for me. You think you maybe might like you? Oh, what? No. Friends don't give friends wedding bands. And I are just best friends. Uh, I don't want to be bothered by this. <gasps> no. A bit early, but. Oh, no. Figured we've been together a year now. Oh, I'm about to say. Stay there most nights anyway. I love you. What the heck? Oh, it's the fire guy. Doctor, get inside. Lock down the facility. Whoa! 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 That was really creepy. Witnesses all he saw was a blur. Sound familiar? He's thinking the flash, but it isn't him. You saw a blur? Whatever it was, it was looking for something. Well, what did it look like? In some kind of yellow suit. Witness described seeing a yellow blur, just like the one that killed Barry's mother. Then we need to get cracking and stop this speed psycho. So what do you know about this Mercury Labs? Mercury was one of Star Labs' major competitors until our little setback, and then it catapulted to the forefront, led by Dr. Christina McGee, brilliant but egocentric physicist. He's messing with tachyons, superluminal particles. You could devise a matrix stable enough to harness their power. You could travel faster than light. He's going to try to get them again. But we need to get what Mercury has and use it as a lure. Thank you for coming in. Dr. Tina McGee, I assume this is about last night's break-in? Yes and no. That's usually how things are with you, aren't they, Harrison? We believe that whoever broke in was after one of your prototypes. You'll have to narrow that down. We have literally hundreds of projects in development. One containing tachyonic particles. Hoping you would lend us your prototype to use as a lure. Us? You're assisting the police now, Harrison? I'm consulting. I appreciate the CCPD's concerns, Mr. Allen, but Mercury is quite capable of protecting its own assets. Set up a ton of supercapacitors, smooth out the inflection points, and voila. There's something wrong. Are you okay? I saw him, Cisco. I think he was following me. Caitlin, Ronnie died. Wait. He was vaporized in the accelerator when it went critical. Ronnie's alive. Wait. And he's out there. Ronnie? And scared. I need your help to find him. Whoa. It was you. You were the one in my house that night. You killed my mother. What? If you want to know that, you're going to have to catch me. Oh, 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 oh my god. Yo. Not fast enough, Flag. Damn, he's not fast enough. Who are you? You know who I am, Barry. I don't know who you are. But you do, Barry. We've been 
been at this a long time, you and I, but I'm always one step ahead. It no. is your destiny to lose to me, Flash, just as it was your mother's destiny to die that night. We should have told Dr. Wells and Barry. No, not until we're sure it's him. Bonnie? It's me. Kate, look. That is I Ronnie? Francisco with me. We're here to help you. I'm not Ronnie. Yes, you are. You're Ronnie Ring. Not Ronnie. I told you that. Now get away from me. We need to take you back to Star Labs. We'll help you remember who you are. Firestorm. The tachyon device is in place. What the heck? You think it'll work? It'll work. Merry Christmas, slugger. Merry Christmas. You all right, Barry? I screwed up, Dad. After years of the searching, I finally found him. I found the man who killed Mom. The man in yellow, the one in the lightning. He got away. I was so close. Now you're in here because of me, and I'm so sorry. I... Wait, you cry. Barry. <laughs> Barry, this is not your fault. But you studied why you became a CSI, even with Iris? Iris. I don't think I know how you love her. But you never pursued her. And in the yellow suit. He's taken enough from us already. Don't let him take any more. I wonder if he's gonna pursue hey, her. Just in time. I am almost done. You okay, Bear? I love you, Iris. Oh, I love you too. We were kids, I loved you before I even knew what the word love meant. And then my mom died. And oh I had no! To live with the girl that I had a crush on. I know I've had our whole lives to tell you this. And you're with Eddie now, and I know that, and I know my timing couldn't be any worse, but I couldn't lie to you anymore. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Sending out another pulse. There you got him. Whoa. Dude, that suit is so cool. 14 years ago, you murdered Nora Allen. You wanna know why? Why, Dr. Wells? We need it last. What do you want with the tachyonic particles? My goals are beyond your understanding. I'm a pretty smart guy. I knew you were exceptionally fast, so any trap we manufactured would have to be invisible. I knew your cells could repair themselves. Your powers are almost exactly like those of the Flash. Well, I'm not like the Flash at all. I'm gonna say I'm the reverse. What? Oh! Oh! Him. What the heck? Don't move, or we will shoot. I want you not to hunt me. Oh, what? Come on, Barry. He's too fast. Woo! Ronnie! Our race is not yet done. She is shooting Flash. Don't look for me again. Oh. Why did it not kill me? I don't know, Eddie. You know more than you've been telling me. They're called metahumans. Metahumans. People with very powerful abilities. You and me. Are the only guys on the force that know what's really going on. In the Flash. Do you know who he is? No. <laughs> He's just like, no. I do. He's the guy that saved both of our lives tonight. What are you guys doing here? I invited him. Who's Dr. Wells? Uh, he wasn't feeling up to a social gathering, but he appreciated the invitation. Merry Christmas, Barry. You too, Eddie. I want to say, um, I heard you're moving in together. I'm really happy for you. Thanks. Yo. Mm. I saw something weird tonight. Yeah, Cisco, I saw it too. No, I mean, 
When the Flash and the man in yellow were going full on bumper cars on each other, I was watching the electricity coming off of them. Yellow and red electricity. When Barry was a kid, he said he saw red and yellow lightning in his house the night his mother died. There were two of them. The man in yellow may have killed Barry's mother, but there was another speedster there that night. Wait, what? That's time. It was another, this was just, it wasn't just him. What the heck's that? No! Stop! What? Oh my god, I freaking knew it. I knew it was Dr. Wells. I had a feeling it was him. It had, it was just showing too many signs it was pointing towards him that he was the, the man in the yellow suit the whole time. I swear it was him and I, I had that freaking feeling, man. Oh my god, man. And when I said I don't know what episode I said that was Dr. Wells, but a lot of you guys were like didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to look at the comment section anyway from that point because I didn't want to get spoiled. But I, I I knew I had a feeling it was him. And definitely when the voice came out, when he was getting his butt kicked by whatever that thing was, I guess that was a hologram? Or he maybe he was kicking himself? I don't know, man. Like look for real, I think in the in in the shield it had to been a hologram. It just had to be. I, it had to have been something there that I was doing. It, there was something there, basically. We gotta get to the next up. We got to get to the next episode very soon. I know I'm following the Arrowverse. It's gonna be, I think we got Arrow, then two more Constantines, and then we'll be on episode 10 for The Flash. So I'm gonna try to get through them as quickly as I can try to get them so we can get to episode 10. Uh, this is getting really good. I definitely can't wait to get to the next one. Uh, but anyway, guys, please don't forget to like on the video. Please don't forget to comment on the video. And also, please go check out the Patreon page. Uh, the full reaction will be on there. And also, I appreciate any support that does come around. Anyway, guys, please stay focused. Stay motivated. See you guys on The Flash.